Hey everybody, yeah, it's uh, early uh, Sunday afternoon. I'm sort of foregoing watching the uh, the initial uh, football games on TV. Uh, figured I'd probably better get out. It's a fairly decent day today for, again, mid, late October. Uh, I think it's about 60 degrees, the sun's out. It's not gonna get much warmer than that. Of course, it, it was in the 30s when we got up today, but uh, Figured I better get out here to this spot. Uh, it's one of my favorite places, but it's the picnic area of the uh, local county park, and uh, they shut the gates sometime this season, just about this time of the year. So figured I better get out here. I was hoping it was the gates were still open, because I tell you, to get back here, uh, I walk in. It's a half mile walk um, uphill uh, both ways. So. Anyway, today I'm going to do another one of those uh, Adnam beers. It's the last of the ones that uh, they put on our put on our shelves uh, not too long ago. We never could get Adnams before, but uh, thanks to uh, Zach, the uh, the new manager of the local store, he asked me about them. I told him give them a try, and I've done some of the others. So today I'm going to do their Tally Ho Reserve. It's a, it's a barley wine. Um, this is a 2012 edition, so it's already got a couple of years on it, which is a good thing because I think it ages pretty well. Um, from the website, it says, brewed with pale crystal and brown malts. Tally Ho is dark mahogany red in color with a rich fruity aroma and a heartwarming sweet raisin and biscuit palate. Tally Ho is a limited edition barley wine style ale brewed at Adnam since 1880. Traditionally a Christmas beer and brewed in October in limited quantities. Many pubs lay a cask down like fine wine and save it for special occasions. The ABV of uh, Tally Ho and cask varies year on year. We measure it just before it goes out and the pubs display the information in the pub rather than print it on the pump clip as, in the, as is the norm. Brewed at the same time as a cask, year, cask beer. Each year's vintage and bottle will be unique and can be, can be laid down like a fine wine. Uh, this particular edition, this 2012 edition, uh, is 9% ABV. It's a uh, perfect, uh, perfect kind of beer for these, uh, these coolish uh, fall days. So let's get it in the, in the glass and see what we have. A little bit of a hiss, no, no smoke. Get her poured. It's, in, it's not a 12 ounce uh, bottle. It's one of these uh, uh, European 11.2 ounce. We got a nice um, dark um, chestnut brown beer. Uh, kind of some red ruby highlights to it. Uh, the sun's actually behind me, so I hope the light in here is decent. Um, Sun's low in the southern sky this time of year, and I'm facing north, so it's kind of behind me. But uh, yeah, it's a kind of a light, thin, pinky maybe of a a light brown, a beige head. Uh, yeah, more beige than uh, than light brown, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a dark dark brown beer. Uh, can't really can't really discern any carbonation but it's pretty opaque you can't really see through it so um, let's get a nose on it okay yeah this oh this smells good it's um there's light to uh, moderate aromas of some dark fruits like plums and prunes maybe a bit of maybe a bit of raisin uh, almost venous like a port wine uh, it's almost like uh, Maybe some raspberries in there and a sort of a like a graham cracker uh, kind of smell, bready notes. A um, little bit of the 9% alcohol, but uh, not too bad. Um, maybe, you know, like I said, it's sort of venous. There's some grapes in there. Uh, maybe a little cherry. Uh, definitely raisins and plum. Um, some toffee notes, um, some uh, like bready, uh, biscuity, uh, bres bready, biscuity malt notes. Just a really nice smelling beer. Uh, if you can see, the head has dissipated almost completely what little there was. Just a thin ring around the edge now. So 
Let's get a taste on it. Okay, yeah, it's um, definitely like the nose. It's um, dark fruit forward. Uh, there's some prunes, some black cherries, um, maybe some black cherries, definitely some raisins in there. Uh, maybe some uh, like uh, some fresh plums right right near the middle there. Uh, there's some uh, nutty undertones, but um, not too much. A uh, little bit of the caramel, uh, some very dry, uh, almost dark chocolate undertones towards the end. Uh, there's a there's a bit surprisingly for two years old. There's a there's a bit of a slight uh, herbal hop note at the end. Um, you're getting the booze a little bit, but it's not too bad. Definitely not overwhelming or anything like that. It uh, it blends dis decently with the uh, herbal hot bitterness. Um, but uh, yeah, we're getting those grape notes. Um, almost like a like a little sherry, maybe more than uh, more than uh, port wine, like I I mentioned in the uh, mentioned in the aroma. Uh, but it's been so darn long since I've, I've had wines, it's really hard for me to discern, discern the differences, what little difference there is in wines. Um, but, um, yeah, it's it's really nice. It's it's definitely a dark fruit forward. Uh, it's almost a, almost a full-bodied beer, uh, maybe a, like a medium full. Uh, carbonation seems to be really light. Uh, the head is... Uh, gone away completely almost just a thin ring around the edge again leaving some uh, light lace lacing down in the glass but uh, so far so good not a not a bad barley wine at all though uh, uh, let me sit I will sit and sip on this a while enjoy this nice weather I'll be I'll be back in a while with the final thoughts and great ah uh, hey I'm back it's it's been half an hour or so uh, 45 minutes just been sipping on this I'm a, I'm, I'm liking this a lot but uh, I'll tell you it's uh, I noticed as at what as it's warmed up what little bit's warmed up in this uh, coolish uh, coolish weather uh, the 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 smell becomes uh, a little more prominent uh, as it warms up um, but you're still getting those uh, dark fruit aromas um cherry and the prune and uh, the raisin maybe just a little bit of a uh, little bit of roasted barley wine but, or barley notes but um, it's still a, a a really fruit forward beer it's uh, not overwhelming though but it's a really nice uh, mellowed out barley wine um, Personally, I like uh, barley wines with a little more of the, the dark malts and uh, mixed in with the dark fruits. And uh, this is primarily fruits, like I said. Um, I like it um, maybe, you know, with more of a, a little more of a punch and a little more of a, a, a dark malt uh, background. But um, this is a really nice beer for a, a coolish. Um, fall afternoon like this and these are only like two bucks a bottle uh, which I think is a heck of a deal even though it's one of these small 11.2 ounce bottle um, still a pretty good deal um, all the addendums for some reason are all two dollars uh, they got a real good deal on them but uh, I think it's really good um, like I said nothing overwhelming nothing nothing fantastic but it's a good solid barley wine and a good inexpensive uh, drink for uh, coolish weather like this so I'm gonna give the Adnams um, like I said this is the 2012 edition of uh, their Tally Ho Reserve uh, barley wine style ale I'm gonna give it a good solid um, 8.5 out of 10 uh, if it had a little more malts and a uh, uh, little maybe cut back a little bit on the dark fruit uh, it might get higher for me at least for my particular taste but everybody's tastes vary thank thankfully 
If everybody thought taught the same, we'd only have a few to choose from like we did for many, many years till the craft beers came out. So 8.5 out of 10. So a uh, good solid beer. If you see it on the shelf, um, give it a try. Um, so until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. And now I'm going to go back home and uh, finish this and watch some, out, watch some football.